Y'all, I'm I'm gonna tell a lot of you guys right now here that listen to me what little do, okay? And I mean not listen to what I say and do. I'm talking about actual take time and go flow through my commentary on certain things. I know I don't speak it in the most uh graceful and eloquent way, but what I have to say is unscripted all the time. All the time. So I have this whole stance where I want you guys to know as fellow black men, as men in general, I don't care what race you are that subscribe with me. You know, I always speak of black um, issues because I'm a black man and they affect me the most because I live amongst my people. Okay. I don't have this cognitive dissonance. I speak about my life experiences, just like many other people speak about theirs. I don't say, I don't come on your channel and be like, oh, why don't you speak about issues? No, no. Speak on what you know. Because universally, universally at the end of the day, you might be able to help somebody understand something about themselves or see a different perspective or break the mold of believing what the media tells them about certain groups of people okay but anyway let me get into what i want to get into and it's the fact that there's a difference between pro-black and pro-dick wet okay there's a difference between <laughs> i'm laughing because i'm thinking about this but there's a difference between pro-black and pro-dick wet whereas we have people who are legitimately pro-black and they know there's things that are socially wrong with us and there's also at the same time there's things that are working against us from outside forces and outside just in general see but the pro dick wet will always say it's always white supremacy is always an outside force and they never want to bring up the fact that anything that is detrimental to the black people at the hands of other black people isn't an issue. They only talk about it as a disarming technique when they get called out for not wanting or not um, being for the betterment of black people amongst other black people. You get what I'm saying? Or the betterment of black people Overall, when it comes to how we treat one another, you got those. And, I, and why I say it's pro dick wet is because a lot of these dudes will not speak on what is a big issue in black America. And that's the female's part in that. And this is not me putting it all on the black female's part. I'm just noticed for the last 20 something years, it's just been festering inside me. And the older I get, the more. I just it upsets me that the the black woman is not accountable for the shit that she should be accountable for alongside of the black man. And that's the only way things are going to progressively change. And I say a lot of these pro dick wet dudes will let it slide because they want to slide up inside her insides. You get what I'm saying? That's what they want to do. So they will make it always about an outside element or they will make it as a issue about other black men. They will collectively throw you under the bus. These dudes could then Pookie and Ray Ray, but then turn around and bone the female equivalent of Pookie and Ray Ray. Because he's not bringing the female element up. It's always the black male that gets thrown under the bus by other black male and that's the difference between pro blacks and pro dick wet pro blacks no we need to clean up our motherfucking yard and also worry about our soul forces outside forces at the same time whereas a lot of pro dick wet dudes well guess what they will let it go they will only speak on white supremacy or they will speak 
on throwing another black man under the bus for that lust. That's right. And you hear me often talk about the health aspect and why our women are leading in the negative aspects of health when it comes to uh, the women in America. It takes a man in a suit to tell you that weight and health is a normal standard. Men have been saying that, black men especially, have been saying that for years. For years. It takes a man in a suit that know how to make a snappy comeback or know how to call you a linebacker to get you upset about it. And hell, I, I, I mean, and when I say upset, meaning like upset to the point that you want to change. Oh, I've pissed off a lot of females in my past and that wasn't intentional. That was to try to, you know, give them a swift kick up their ass. And I prove it through my actions, not through insults, not through just being downright garbage human being towards somebody I, I think isn't my cup of tea. I've never been like that. No, it's about, I've pissed a lot of them off from having a standard, holding that standard up, and showing through example through life that you can exercise, you can train, you can do all these things on your own terms. And when you see me in the gym, you see me by myself. Okay? The th very thing that I'm filming this commentary with right now is the very thing that has taught me how to train. I have Googled, I have looked up techniques to exercises, I've looked up what exercises hit what, but I'm not always on this thing talking about, oh, okay, uh, I need to look up what's the latest conspiracy theory that justifies my bullshit. Put it to use. No, we don't focus on that. We got niggas over here talking this shit about uh, what they're not going to do and how they feel this is dangerous. But at the same time, they're not giving you no positive alternatives. And then you have some that say, well, I know what I do, but they not, but you're not pro-black. Stop acting like you're pro-black if you're not sharing or living by example. You're speaking by example, but you're not living by it. So when people see what I do in these little clips or hear me talk about it, or if you see my Instagram, you'll notice that I actually do train. And I find time working about 32 to 40. 50 something hours a week I find time to train Two Times a week maybe Two to three times a week But no Mr. Pro Dickwet ain't gonna bring that up Because He don't want to kick the hornet's nest And in certain situations The hornet's nest needs to be fucking kicked We out here contracting a lot of curable ailments because of our poor health habits. But no, he's going to tell you, you're fine and you're perfect. You're a queen. You're just the way you, you find just the way you are. Now, let a black woman, let a black woman say that shit about a crackhead male, a heroin fiend male. No, she will never be caught saying some shit like that. She tells us every day on social media what we need to do you know sometimes it's ridiculous for the simple fact that she got such high standards um and she don't adhere by any of them but she will be laughed out of the damn building if she was saying that's a strong black man right there even as a heroin fiend like that whole damn mama thing you see that's why a lot of people like um, bring up the whole thing about uh, Tupac and how they look back in retrospect about their mama and how he talked about even as a crack fiend, you were still a black queen. You see what we have to do, how the mindset of black men is compared to black women? This is why our standards as black men is so low, but Mr. Pro Dick Wed ain't going to talk about that. 
he's going to tell you, basically, you need to do better as a black man. We need to treat these women better. These women, at the meantime, hear this shit, and they don't actually change a goddamn thing about themselves. Because you are governed by your pecker. But no, go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Call me mean. Call me shallow for what? Holding a female to basic standards? Me hearing your excuses and telling you to shove your excuses up your ass if you don't have a debilitating disease? Oh, I'm sorry. Tell that to my classmates that I'm in school, that I used to go to high school with, who are working out every other day and she looking good. Tell that to another one of my females who know, I mean, not females, but you get another of my female um, old classmates who keep themselves in shape. Tell that to the brothers. Of various races That are in the gym And we outpopulate the shit out of women How as men Collectively We are outpopulated by women In America especially But When it comes to working out We outpopulate Women in the gym Tell me how that makes any sense to you And then you wonder why a lot of these women Complain about Their lack of choices in men Meanwhile, you five foot two, two hundred to three hundred pounds. <sighs> exactly. And it's not me being rude. That's me telling telling you, look. The days are slowly coming to an end. Where you're going to see a lot of men just taking you for the way you are. Because they realizing the juice ain't worth the squeeze. They realize that they can't win with a lot of you. But like I said, Mr. Pro Dickwood ain't going to talk about that. He might live it, but he's going to tell you what you want to hear so you won't be mad at him. And we have plenty of them out there who will tell you what you want to hear so you won't be mad at them. He want to keep you on the back burner. He want to keep your confidence low. There's a difference between having realistic confidence version versus delusion. And I've met a lot of delusional females. And I've met a lot of bullshitters as men on here talking that pro-black nonsense. And there's a difference between the pro-black nonsense, aka pro-dickwet versus true pro-black, meaning you are about the betterment of black people when and it don't matter what you don't just handle one situation you like yo this shit is uncalled for the way we act why you think i take documentations sometimes of how the park down the street from where i live can get trashed is remy martin bottles all over the place cups and people even went as far as to put garbage cans out there to stop you from littering so much and you still will drop the leave the bottle right there with your lazy, disgusting asses. Oh, but when I talk about it, oh my God, you think you better? No, it ain't about thinking you better. It's about wanting better for us all. But like I said, Mr. Pro Dickwood ain't gonna talk about that. Oh, he talk about you not put, well, you why you shouldn't put a jab in your arm, and then he post shit to make you scared. But Mr. Pro Dickwood ain't going to give you any solutions. Why? Because he don't want you to have any. See, be careful. Be careful about that. See, a lot of you ladies don't hear guys telling you about that. You always. Want to be told what you want to hear What you don't need to hear I mean what you need to hear You don't Want to accept that as A Possible reality <sighs> Anyway y'all I'm out peace